RFA diligence leaves the main port in Bahrain and sails into the Gulf. She's just started her five-year deployment in these waters, which is now the main area of operations for the Royal Navy. It's therefore vital that she can carry out top-class support and assistance whenever called upon. Her captain puts it in a nutshell. We, we like to think of ourselves as the floating Swiss army knife. You tell us what the job is and we're adaptable and we'll get on and do it. The scenario behind Exercise Omar, which stands for Operational Maintenance and Repair, started with the communications coming in from a Type 23 frigate, HMS Montrose. Officer Watch, flash message from Montrose. Uh, they have been hit by a merchant vessel. Stand by for further tasking. At the moment, reports are 10 degree list to starboard. The information is immediately relayed to the teams that need to know, including the salvage team. Several of the diving team and a naval mechanic take a rib over to HMS Montrose to assess the damage. We'll come on board with the salvage officers. They'll work on the big heavy areas itself of keeping the ship afloat. We'll work on restoring the power and the generation and all the other capability to the ship so she can carry on afloat and resume her tasking whenever possible. Back in the workshop on diligence, the mechanics of the Naval Party 1600 get to work as soon as they can. I've been tasked with uh, to manufacture a new shaft for a chilled water pump. Uh, the old one, unfortunately, was beyond repair, as you can see here. It's worn down, can't use it again. So that's me if I could make from uh, a fresh piece of stainless steel bars like a new shaft, as you see here in the lathe. Two hours after the first call for help, and diligence has arrived at the damaged vessel. Now, what we know from the exercise scenario so far is that HMS Montrose, which is right here behind me, has had a major collision with a merchant vessel. Now, because she's been so far out at sea, she can't go to a port for assistance, and that's exactly why she's called on diligence. We've just rafted up right here beside her so that we can help her, and in essence, this is a floating garage. She has the ability to what they call dynamic position, which means that she has bow thrusters and stern thrusters, which allow her to, to fix in one place in the sea and stay there no matter what the weather. It's all hands on deck as the rafting takes place and a gangway straddling the two vessels is put into position. There are reports of casualties on board as well as serious flooding. Diligence has the manpower and the facilities to support HMS Montrose, much to the relief of the captain. The investment needed to get a ship like Diligence out to the Middle East to practice with a Type 23 frigate taken away from operational duties for a few hours is immense. But thank goodness they're here to do that because I feel reassured that were the worst to happen, for whatever reason, I could be rescued and repaired by friendly faces wearing uniform who are able to give us that expert help. As well as fixing problems on board the vessel, there's also a need to look for damage underneath the ship, which is where the salvage team come in. We brought the smallest ROV with us. This little vehicle here will go down to 150 metres, and we've got 300 metres of umbilical on it. Uh, and it's quite a capable vehicle, um, and it's only it's got two cameras on it, a black and white and a colour camera. Uh, it's got no sonar, manipulator or anything like that. It's just lights and cameras. If the remote-operated vehicle picks up damage, the diving team will carry out a further inspection and, where possible, repair the vessel. The RFA diligence is now slowly moving away from the warship. For the past five hours, she's given HMS Montrose chilled water and power, and she's repaired her defects. But most of all, she's given the sailors on board morale and reassurance. This exercise has thoroughly tested the capabilities of Diligence and her crew. And although every Royal Navy ship have their very own team of skilled workers and mechanics, if there was a real collision, battle injury or a fundamental breakdown, it's this forward repair ship that you'd want by your side. Laura Hawkins, Forces News off the coast of Bahrain.